Gabonese President Ali Bongo has campaigned for re-election in remote corners of the rainforested nation this month, ahead of an August 26 election. He's seeking to dispel opposition claims that he lacks the strength and track record to fulfill generous electoral promises in a third term. Critics say he has done too little to funnel Gabon's oil wealth towards the third of its 2.3 million population living in poverty and question his fitness to govern after a stroke in 2018. On his wide-ranging campaign trail, the 64-year-old has tried to disprove this image. It's a pact, a pact that I propose that you and I, you and I enter into. The aim of this social and republican pact is to rebuild our country's social and economic model, to provide it with a solid foundation on which to project itself serenely into the future. His main challenger is Albert Ondo Osa, the economics and management professor, was picked by an alliance of six main opposition parties as their joint candidate last Friday. His campaign has focused on the need for change and better economic opportunities. Tensions are running high ahead of the vote, amid fears recent electoral system changes could sow doubt about the validity of the result and provoke unrest. Deadly clashes after Bongo's 2016 victory saw the parliament building gutted by fire. The opposition has already voiced its concern over a new single ballot system, which means voters have to pick a presidential candidate and lawmaker from the same party. It also opposes a recent constitutional change to abolish two rounds of voting for the president, claiming this favors Bongo. Bongo's camp has positioned him as the firm favorite to win the race, although there has been no reliable polling.